This is a two-cylinder Wisconsin. This is a model THD. It's, um, I think, the second model of this two-cylinder engine they made. There was one uh, model that was uh, predated it. I think this is like early 60s, maybe late 60s, something like that. This hasn't run in probably about two decades, I estimate. Uh, it will only fire on one cylinder because I felt bad exhaust valve, so one of the cylinders is sucking real bad. So it's probably only going to run on one cylinder, but this is first cold start, about two decades. Um, I think this was rebuilt at some point because the inside is really, really clean. There's still crosshatch on the cylinders. Uh, there's no major scoring. Uh, they're a little bit caramel color because heat, but of course this is an air-cooled engine. Uh, there's no real lip uh, where the piston's been rubbing. Um, and the valves look nice, even though one of them isn't sealing. That's normal um, on these small engines, but uh, no carburetor at this point. I'm sure that's going to need taken apart. I'm just going to run it by drizzling gas on the intake. This has an electric starter over here, and then there's a generator on the other side. And then it has this cute little distributor that is driven on some gears that come off of the back of that generator there. Anyway, it has fresh oil in it and everything, so let's see. sounds like a two-cylinder. It doesn't sound like a one-cylinder running twice as fast. That's true. <laughs> I, I'm kind of beginning to see that. I accidentally sat on the camera so your footage is ruined.
Man, it's really easy to siphon gas from your truck. You could do it from down below. Yeah. Don't, you guys. Just just click subscribe. So this is actually now a video of how to siphon gas from a 67 Ford. Uh, Our address is... <laughs> 20... Oh, don't do that. <laughs> uh, all you do is unscrew some clamp. Or if you, I mean, if you're siphoning gas, just fucking cut, cut the hose. Yeah, it's super and easy. And then point it down at a bucket, and there's your fuel. There you go. Yeah, we've been doing this for a couple days. Let me, let me run the truck for 30 seconds, because it's cranking slower. It loves... I want them to be able yes. to hear the engine. This, uh, we've been siphoning gas from this random truck that's parked in my yard. Uh, I think it's the previous owner's truck. We've gotten about four gallons of gas out of this bitch. It still runs, too. Yeah, wow. Well, I mean, he even left the keys in there, like, luckily. Yeah, no, you just grab a screwdriver in there. Yeah, <laughs> and look at this shit. Uh, this looks exactly like Uni Grandpa's truck, but it's not. Uh, it's some random guy that left the identical <laughs> truck at my house. See, I thought I had an um, original idea. Yeah, see, he even mounted the same Onan generator. Uh, he's got a similar toolbox, not quite the same. He, he organizes tools a little different. Um, we put that on because uh, he didn't have that, so we thought we'd upgrade it while I was here. Um, yeah, he's missing a bed, though. It's just kind of gone. Uh, oh, and this guy actually takes care of his tires. He put on a uh, nice, nice spray. It's pronounced Unit Grandpa. Unit Grimp. <laughs> Uh, there's padlocks on here. We don't know what's in here though, so we're gonna have to cut these padlocks. That'll be the next video. Yeah, there's, his, there's his license plate number. Uh, go ahead, look him up. We can't. You do it for us. By the way, uh, also he he's apparently a fucking retard. <laughs> uh, the generator has no output. I had it running today. Uh, I turned the breaker on, but I couldn't get anything. I wired up a second neutral, um, and then. I haven't tested the generator since, so I'm thinking maybe I just didn't connect something. It's something stupid. I hope it is, because if not, uh, we have no output on the generator. Backfire. Is that the really bad exhaust valve you're talking about? Backfires a lot? Uh, that might be. I'm not sure. It's also partially because this is advanced and it's cranking slow. But. problem. I was wondering why there was no vacuum on the intake. My um, throttle maxer fell off. Oh, she's going to run away now. I love how you can see the different um, which piston is firing because the exhaust is kind of directed out of the tube differently. Lever. Oh boy. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I got out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I hope. <laughs> well, there's some more. How's that? Oops. I want to leave. <laughs> Intent. 
intentional runaway engine. You're, you can do it. Oh. Starter just taking a boatload of current. Is that why it's cranking slow? Well, it's a voltage drop through the connections in the jumper cable. Where are my keys? God damn it! Oh. Crazy that right there is Balin the Mia, and we are gonna do something really stupid today. Keeping your tail wide, your Balin might die. He's making me uncomfortable. Go, Balin! <laughs> you riding this? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Balin said not to talk crap about this camera. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> this is so unbelievably sketchy. Why would you put me through this, you jerk? That's the path. Of really old engineering. It'd be nice if it didn't kill me, it's not required. I felt it fucking pop. Make a wish, everyone. Make a wish. Not okay. <laughs> you went too far. This guy, man, this guy. 